Okay, and uh, you're just releasing your your debut album, uh, "Come In From the Rain." But uh, Roland Grappo is also releasing uh, his uh, debut solo album nowadays. Um, are you having a real break from Halloween, or or have you split? <laughs> no, 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 no. This was a matter of fact. Just taking the time we we have in between the last album tour and and the new studio album. Or studio time, which which will start in September. So meanwhile, we are all writing songs for the new Halloween album. Okay, the songs you've written for this album, um, did you write them to use on your uh, own album, or didn't they fit into to Halloween's uh, concept or, or music? <clears throat> Both. And the third reason uh, that there were still quite four or five ideas from from earlier Pink Cream days, which uh, haven't haven't ended up on the on the Pink Cream album. So uh, during the last tour, I, I finished the arrangements and wrote the lyrics for all the ideas. And uh, when when you have during the years when you have 20 or 25 uh, songs on the table, it's it's like your babies somehow, and 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 you lost some hard blood. Then then you want to see them finally ending up on an album anyway. And uh, this time, after the time of the Oath tour, it was the first time we we had some time for the last three and a half years to finally think about something like doing a solo record. So uh, these songs are actually written uh, over a long period of, of time then? Uh, quite a few of them. I'd say a third of the album is even up to four years old, the songs, song ideas. And uh, another third was done during the Halloween days and uh, another third was brand new. Hmm. Uh, what was it like to, to get a record deal for this uh, album? Uh, did you get it through uh, your connections with uh, Halloween and their label, or, or did you go on your own to, to, to get signed? Well, also both. Um, Japan was done by myself. I, I scheduled it when when I was, uh, was there with a the band, and we were playing the tour. I had a meeting with quite a few people. And uh, Europe and America was done by Sanctuary, by my management, Smallwood Taylor. And uh, actually, I didn't didn't have to do anything with it because I simply did not have time enough to do so because we are we were in my studio recording the stuff. So then then uh, you're quite happy to have somebody who is who is actually uh, uh, fixing all the record company questions. The songs on this uh, album are, are very different from Halloween's music, except for one track. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sure. And uh, well, the guys from from uh, Halloween did you help? Did help you out on this one? Mm -hmm. uh, is this actually a Halloween track, or or is it just a coincidence? Uh, this was originally written for the next Halloween album, and then uh, quite quite a lot of people came up uh, with the strange idea that, that I'd try to leave the band or something like that. So uh, I decided to put on uh, a Hello to Halloween song where I, I asked Michael and Roland to play solos and, and Marcus to play the bass guitar that that the people don't argue or don't, don't think about bad things like he's leaving the band or something like that and to show everybody that this is a solo record appreciated by all band members and apologized by everybody. Except for that track, yeah, I, I know, of course, you do all the vocals, and I also know that you play some guitar. Uh, who else uh, helped you out on this album? Um, the drummer and the guitarist are drummer and guitarist of my very, very first band I ever had. We founded uh, the band at the age of 15, and these days this band was called Nameless. <laughs> Strange <Okay>. blue. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, this was something like like uh, taking the oldest friends, where I started out to play music, and we we all learned very much from each other. So it was quite a, a, a silent understanding, in in a way of uh, they knew exactly what I wanted to say when when I tried to explain a, a certain expression for for a certain song. The bass player was a common friend of us, also living here in our cow town, and uh, yeah, this was something like like taking the musicians you know exactly that the chemistry will go on in a very very good way without without any any dis, uh, misunderstandings and, and things that that uh, make your life uh, a bit more heavy or something like that was avoided by 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 these people 
Uh, have you got any more material left to to, to record uh, the next soul album from uh, Andy Darius? Well, quite one one or two ideas I still have on the table, but uh, momently I'm in in a way of of that particular kind of music, Andy Andy Darius music. I'm I'm definitely burned out now, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm 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 quite happy to sit down and and play a little bit more with double bass and speed metal stuff because this is something fresh now. And uh, it, it brought me back the fun I, I had during the Master of the Rings and Time of the Oath days, and I'm 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 really into speedy, rocky things now, and which which helps me ex actually because it's exactly the thing which is demanded for the next al Halloween album anyway. So if you write any songs that won't fit into the next Halloween album, that will be for the next Andrew album. If... Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and uh, uh, why don't you, you pick a, a track of your uh, your own album for me to play? Well, if so, uh, a more harder or more softer one? You choose that. I choose, then I choose Goodbye Jenny. <laughs> 